I think I'm going to build myself a house. Now I've got a lot of things going on inside the um, the mountain here, but I'd like to build a house, a farmhouse with a wraparound veranda, uh, up here on this hill overlooking the horse pasture. So I thought um, I thought what I'd do is come out here and kind of show you where I had in mind, and then maybe take a look at clearing some of this space out. Now it's coming on evening, so I'm going to need to head in soon. Uh, but I thought I'd just show you uh, show you around, show you kind of what I had in mind. So right up here on the top of this little hill. Now I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to excavate it some, but I've got a pretty good view of the of the spruce forest this way. I've got a pretty good view of the mountains over this way, and the hot air balloons. I can see my tower and the horse pasture. So I think right in here is going to be a good place. And see, it's real close to this road, too. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to clear out some of this uh, uh, spruce wood and get started building a house. Come on, let's play. Well, I had gotten started and realized I needed some supplies. So I've come back to the house and I have picked up uh, a few things that we're going to need out at the new location. So if you're ready... I think uh, I think I'm ready. I think I'm I think I'm good to go. Oh, looks like I have a zombie pigman coming to visit. There's nobody here. No, really, you leave my horses alone. Come on. They don't like horse meat, do they? I did while I while I was on break. I did breed a couple of the horses. So I now have a, a new foal in the pasture, and um, I did I did knock down a couple of trees, and that's when I realized that I really didn't have uh, any any room in my inventory, any chests out here. So I'd started clearing this little area right here. So I don't want to be too close to this. So I think I'm going to come over just a ways, because I think a lot of this is going to come down. So I'm going to throw a couple of chests up here. Oops, that's a chicken, not a chest. There we go. Come on. And I'm going to offload some of what I brought. I brought some brick for the fireplace. I brought a couple of uh, furnaces, some food, some ladders, some trip wires, uh, a little bit of irons, uh, a hopper, because, you know, you never know what you're going to need. Some... Here, I'll just I'll throw all this out here because I've got a lot of cleaning to do yet. Here, let's put... Uh... I guess we can put a couple of furnaces down. I, again, we're. I don't know what I'm going to need, so I'd rather be safe than sorry, right? You get how that goes. Okay. I think we're going to come down just a little, not not maybe all the way down to that, but just a bit more. Depends on how big my house is going to be. I may have to do a little more terraforming. Uh, I built one on the other server. It was 40 by 30, and you know it wound up being a little bit bigger than I needed. One floor was enough to put everything in I needed. Uh, I had a sitting room, a bedroom, a media room, an enchant room, a brewing room. Uh, so, and I, I didn't even use the first floor. So, I don't think we're going to go quite that big. But I do want the wraparound veranda. Uh, I don't know about you, but those old farmhouses. Uh, with those wraparound porches, man, that's one of my favorite styles of architecture, especially if the house is 150 years old or thereabouts. Okay, now, it's not quite big enough. I want to go probably one more down or maybe extend this out a little bit. But before I do that, I'm going to get rid of some of just a few of these trees. I'll replant, but what I want is to be able to see googlies coming. Uh, and I, I can't see them coming if I am uh, and a bunch of these trees are out here and they, they, they're real bushy tailed. Now these trees like this that are tall with, with no branches down at the bottom, I'll leave those because you know it's kind of hard for somebody to hide behind that. Uh, but these that have branches that go all the way down to the ground, yeah that's going to get me killed. Now I say that, I have really good armor. <laughs> you know. See, here comes a creeper. Don't, don't. Oh, I, 
couldn't back up. Good grief. I hate to waste the dirt I just picked up, but, you know, what are you going to do? Can't be having creeper holes in here. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was another creeper. <laughs> that would be just my luck. Now, see, the creeper didn't do any damage to me. That's the benefits of some really good armor. Uh, but I really hate cleaning up after them. You know, they're real... They're real difficult on the terrain. Come on. Get rid of a couple more trees right in here. Get some light going on. This must be it is. I'm going to need to take this one out only because they share common leaves. And the, there we go, the automatic leaf dec decay won't kick off unless there's nothing attached. No! Oh, I was coming online to tell you, <laughs> through the magic of jump cut, I cleared this area out. Now, I have fought a few mobs, and this little guy just snuck right up on me. Uh, so, yeah, I have uh, finished leveling this area off, widened it out a little bit. I'm going to have to repair this, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to go in until it gets light uh, and then keep cutting down some trees. Stupid creepers. Be right back. Okay. Through the magic of jump cut again, I have uh, harvested some trees, built some fences, and circled the area that I'm going to be working. This is just to see if I can't get the uh, creepers from being able to sneak up on me wherever it is I'm working. Now, I probably should have built this fence out a little bit, give, me, give myself a little bit of breathing room, uh, but... You know, I'm going to be working up here. The house isn't going to be that big, so I think I should be okay. Uh, I have been attacked by several mobs. I've had to c clean up a couple of more creeper holes, and that's what decided me on going ahead and building out the fence. One other thing I did was go through and plant some birch trees. Uh, you can see some of the saplings around here. A couple of them have grown, but I've got a lot more saplings out there. I'd say about 20. Now, my reason for this is I want to do uh, the farmhouse in a combination of the red woods, which is the uh, uh, Kirby tree. The I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's it's kind of a red wood. I like that. And then the birch, the lighter wood. Now I really like birch with dark oak, but um, you know I've I've used a lot of dark oak. I think I want to do something a little bit different here. Combination of the spruce, the birch, and that red wood. So let's do another jump cut. Let me go. Um, let me go make a bunch of uh, half slabs and lay out my foundation. Be right back. Okay. Thanks to <laughs> the joys of jump cut again. Uh, I think I've got the outline laid out. Now, as you can see, it's going to be really close to the road, which I want. Uh, I'm going to have a, a series of gables that will be in these little cutouts right here. And I've got quite a bit of floor space, so I should have enough room to do everything I want. Now, I am using pier and beam building. Uh, maybe it's my uh, construction background, but I believe in doing things the correct way. And old farmhouses were built on pier and beam. Now, I haven't replaced the item underneath the uh, main pier with a stone or a foundation, but I probably will. Again, just to keep it aesthetically correct and pleasing to me. So I think that's the layout. I'm going to go ahead and fill the floor in, finish my piers, maybe get uh, some steps in. I do have a work area set up. I think you saw that last time. And as you can see, this is going to be a pretty good view. Now, obviously, we're not going to be this high, but I'm situated quite nicely in this forest. What do you think? Okay, back shortly. Okay, thought I'd check back in with you, give you a little status update. I have just about completed the walls. Now, I am having two floors in the house, uh, and I realized that, you know, this is the ceiling, 
of the first floor and the floor of the second floor. And uh, it's three high on each side. But I realized that I want that to be birch. And I don't have near enough birch on me. Uh, I'm going to go harvest a bunch of birch. Uh, I'm going to have to plant some trees to do that. Um, let's see what else we got to do. Uh, I've got the gables. Yeah, I've got quite a bit to uh, to finish here. Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is the, the beauty of video. It's a jump cut. So I've been working on the house. Let me take you in there and show you around. Uh, and I've just started the deck. So I thought, you know, I've, I've made some progress. I probably should come in and, and show you where we are. Now, I think I want to extend that out a little bit. So uh, let me just show you what we have inside here. Uh, just the bare walls up, a little bit of windowing, a couple of doors so I can get in and out. And I have uh, the second floor somewhat done. Well, not done, but, you know, enclosed. I just finished putting this glass in, and I realized that this, this just doesn't stick out far enough for me. Um, I'm going to have an observation deck right up here. Let me go ahead and finish showing you before it gets dark. Because uh, I've knocked down all the fence because I'm getting ready to extend my deck out here. So I'll be bringing this wraparound deck all the way out, uh, and I've got uh, got a little bit of stuff going on up here. And this is where I'd gotten to when I realized I was out of material <laughs> and needed to come outside and get that and realized, well, you know what? I'm just steady building, and, and you guys are not seeing what I'm doing. And uh, this is Let's Play, after all. So I thought I'd uh, come in and get some material and show you where we're at now I know this is really stark remember the deck is going to come out and it's going to have a um, a sloped roof that comes down the side on the all the way around so like your old-timey farmhouses so you know I know it's really plain right now but I haven't dressed it up yet it'll have uh, fence posts and poles and uh, a sloping roof that goes all the way you know all the way around just starting right here on the side and then probably a bit further up on the front. Uh, I haven't fully decided. I don't know that this is where my doors are going to be as well. Uh, I'm thinking for the uh, for the front door, I'm probably going to come to this side. The road goes right through here, so I'll put a little fence path uh, right up to the front part of the deck here and then stairs up. So I'm probably going to have my door my front door right here. Uh, I will probably leave this side door here because this is the one that leads off to the horse barn, although I may reposition it a little bit. Again, I haven't begun decorating. I'm still working on the walls and the configuration. Uh, and it is dark and I have the fence down, so doggone it. I, uh, I may just work right upstairs here for a little bit. Um, this is just not sticking out far enough. Let me show you what I mean. Come down here. I was looking for a bit more um, texture, a bit more uh, character to the house. Let me just make sure. I've got some dark areas right down here. Oh yeah, see, that's why. This is why you're not supposed to be running around outside, goofball. Okay, see what I mean? It just doesn't stick out far enough. Now, I haven't finished the roof line. See how it's supposed to come out right here? Uh, oh, and I have a couple of scaffolds I haven't pulled down. Here as well. Where did he go? Is he tracking me? Hello, Mr. Zombie Man. Can you hear me? Come find me. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe two more blocks out. I'll take this tree down, extend the deck, extend the um, the walls. So I want to do it now before I start decorating. I I really think. You know, having to go back and move the walls after you've begun decorating, that's just not very fun. 
So I'm thinking bringing this out at least two more blocks, maybe three, uh, and that'll give it a bit more character. In fact, yeah, I don't want to start tearing down the house with it being dark. Oh, get in there. Good grave. Okay, so through the magic of jump cuts, I will continue working. Uh, I may speed build this so you can see it. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. I'm, I'm probably... Let's see what this view looks like. jump cut I think that's uh, a little bit better let me show you what it looks like from outside let's walk around a little bit I have extended the deck some oops I have some scaffolding up here so I think that looks better um, it, it's got a little more character I, I do still have to move the glass that's up there uh, but I was just looking to see you know does this look good I think I'm gonna glass this front right here and I'm I'm tempted to to open this part up too and make it kind of like a skylight uh, or in fact I'm I'm tempted to open this whole ceiling up right here uh, depends on on how many rooms I need I may wind up doing that <laughs> you know so I like the way this glass turned out here and here I want to do the same thing here I'm just gonna move it but I don't have my silk touch with me I'm gonna go in the house and get that so I just wanted to bring you up to speed on where we're at. Uh, it's coming along. And if you have some ideas for how to decorate it, uh, some things I want to put inside, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And uh, I'll check those uh, as soon as they come in. And, you know, you can have a say in, uh, in how the farmhouse looks inside. So I think I'm going to call this episode. Uh, I know it's only... Um, well, this is 11 minutes, but if I add it to the first video, yeah, I think I think I think we're gonna call it here. Uh, I may put the uh, the final cuts and the decorating on the uh, second video instead. Okay, till next time. This is Minecraft Gran, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. Happy mining. Mm -hmm.